What up people, it's been a minute since I last uploaded a video. I've got my reasons and in this video I'll explain to you why. I'm in the area of Barrios Unidos in Bogota, Colombia at the moment. Uh, it's a very safe area. You've got little huts like this where security stay. So I feel very safe around here, but you're still gonna be aware of your surroundings. In this video, I wanted to explain to you why I haven't uploaded for a while. There's a very good reason. Um, I've been in Colombia now for quite a while. I feel very safe here, even though I'll explain to you uh, what happened to me. Um, I want this video to make people aware of situations that can happen if you're not careful, like what happened to me. Uh, this country is a great country. I feel very safe in Bogota. Um, the reason why I haven't loaded for a while is because I needed a bit of time out after what happened. I uh, also consulted some Colombian friends of mine. I want this video to be respectful. I don't want to put people off coming here because like I say it's a great place. You don't want to miss out. Uh, there's great food, great beer, great people. It's a great, great country, trust me. And I would not want anybody to watch this video and think, oh, I don't know about coming here. That's totally not what I want from this video. I want to basically, like I say, explain what happened and just make people aware that you need to be aware of your surroundings at all times because if you're not, then you can get in trouble. Now I've stayed in quite a few different areas of Bogota. Generally I stay in the north. The north is, I would say, the safer area of Bogota. Going down south is not for me. I've been down there and yeah, very, very dodgy. So the north generally is a good rule of thumb if you're coming to Bogota to stay in if you're a tourist. Around this zone I'm in, Barasunodos, there's lots of security everywhere. In the daytime it is safe. I don't feel no problems at all. Um, you can walk anywhere, no problem. It's just of a night time, I would say, that you have to be aware of your surroundings more so than anything. And that's any part of Bogota. Now, like I said earlier, I took some time out from making videos. That was a personal choice. I just felt with what happened to me, it kind of, how can I put it? I've never been in that situation before and it just made me think a lot about things, a lot about life in general and I just need a bit of time out to contemplate things and get my head around things um, and then just figure out my next move but of course I like making videos so hence why I'm making one today um, but yeah the uh, there's another security box there see lots of security but yeah um, I just need a bit of time out just to like I say, get my head around things and work out what I want to do, what's my next moves. But yes, what happened to me? Let's get down to this. It was around uh, Christmas time and it was late one night. I was at a bar and it was on the border of uh, Barasunodos and Usaken. It was on the Northern Line, the uh, Transmillennial Line. That's what the, the bus service is called here. And I was in a bar late one night and, well, one o'clock in the morning. I had a few drinks and what happened, I actually left the bar around one o'clock and I was with a girl and what she was saying was like, let's get, a, let's get to another club or something, get to another bar. But I was like a bit dubious, I was thinking, maybe let's go home. But what happened, the bar, the actual bar um, closed and the lights were turned off. The street was very dark, one o'clock in the morning, no security around. And I was outside looking on Google at bars, ratings. Then I was looking at taxis. About half an hour had passed. And as I was checking my phone, uh, two guys walked past. And I just thought they was gonna say hello, you know, had a good evening. But all of a sudden, one guy pulled out a pistol, pointed at my head, and he said, give me all your shit. Now, when somebody does something like that, it's an eye-opener. I'm from Birmingham, and of course there's things that go on in Birmingham, there's things that go on all over Europe. But 
I feel in Latin America, maybe the street, you know, the laws of the streets are very different to Europe. Um, so yeah, so basically the guy pointed the gun at my head. I was like, well, what can I say? I was just like gobsmacked. Um, he had a friend with him. His friend was checking my pockets. He was looking for money. Fortunately, I didn't have money on me. I had my phone on me. Now, on my phone, I have my uh, Google Pay wallet, so you can pay contactless. So, fortunately, I didn't have my wallet with all my cards on me. Didn't have any money on me, but yes, just had the phone. Now, the, the shock to the system is like, you've got some dude pointing a, a gun at your head saying give me your, give you all your shit and yeah that was for me yeah mind blowing it's like something out of a movie the best thing in that situation is not to retaliate it's not like hollywood you know you're not going to do some jackie chan fly kick or whatever you don't want to risk it just for a piece of metal so i give him my phone um the girl i was with she got robbed also she had her phone robbed um, it was over pretty quickly. Once they realised I didn't have much else on me, they took the phones and off they went. But the aftermath, it's like, yeah, the shock of uh, that happening to you. And then I had to go back home and cancel all my uh, bank applications on my phone. Obviously, like I say, I've got my Google Wallace on there, different things. That took me about six or seven hours. Um, yeah, it was a good Christmas present. So, yeah, that was a nightmare. Then I had to get a new phone in Colombia. Um, that was another nightmare. I went to a place called Claro, which do uh, mobile phones. Um, not many English speakers in there, so that was a nightmare trying to tell them what I want. Um, got the phone eventually, not as good as my old phone. But the way I look at it, these guys, these chances, they got a piece of metal and I didn't get shot. That's the main thing. So, yeah, I mean, they're welcome to a piece of metal. They can have it, not a problem. But, um, yeah, it's just the, the pain in the backside having to sort everything out after. But forget that. Like I say, I want to be breathing. I want to be alive. I want to be able to make more videos. So they're welcome to it. But the situation after, it just left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. But I'm still in Bogota. And that sounds crazy, but I still feel safe here. Like I say, the zone I'm in, in Barrios lots of security, um, not a problem. Um, but of a night time, of anywhere, what it's shown me, doesn't matter if it's a safe area uh, for tourists, of a night time, things, can change dramatically. What I should have done is had a taxi waiting outside the bar for me um, after the pub, got in the taxi, gone to another bar or gone home. That, that, was, the, that was the play. But to be honest with you, um, I'm new to this country. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was like Europe. Um, you know, you live and learn. But I look back when I first come here and I was told by a lot of people that you should uh, not walk around at night time. Uh, be careful with your phone. Don't, don't take it out of a night time. Even in the daytime, you have to be careful. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a video on how to stay safe in Colombia. Um, Cause there are, like I say, different laws here, different uh, street smart laws here of which you need to know about to stay safe. I mean, I look back to when I first come here and I was a little bit like John Wayne. I was walking around the streets late at night, um, no care in the world, still thought I was in Europe. And that's the problem. If you think like that, then that can cause massive problems. So yes, that'll be the next video for me upcoming, how to stay safe in Colombia. Lots of tips, well worth a watch if you're coming to visit here. Also with this video, I don't want to play like the victim. 
it's not what this video is about. This is just to make people aware of what can happen um, if you don't play smart. It's an experience that I would like nobody else to experience because believe me, once you're in that situation, it's not good. It's like, it was very surreal. Um, like I say, something out of a movie. But I'm not Jackie Chan. I'm not gonna do a fly kick. They want the piece of metal, they can have it. It's not a problem. After what happened to me, I do not regret coming to Colombia at all. And anybody who's watching this video who's thinking of coming to Colombia, I highly recommend you come. You can enjoy this country, this wonderful country, but play it safe. Like I said earlier, I've been here a long time. I love the food, the food is amazing. The beer is amazing. Well, any beer is better than English beer. English beer is toilet water. But yeah, the beer, is, beer here is very good. Uh, people are very, very friendly. Um, it's just, like I say, like any country, there's, there's bad and good. And you just don't want to be in a situation where the bad elements are around. Going forward with this channel, I'll be making more videos in Colombia. I've already got some up. If you haven't seen them before, go and check them out. Uh, after Colombia, I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet. I'm just trying to work it out. So feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Tell me where you think I should go and what kind of content you'd like to see more of. I knew of the dangers about Colombia before I come here. I uh, read all the stories, but I wanted to check it out for myself. I just think I was very, very unlucky. I put myself in a situation where I was a sitting duck. So it's something of which I want to share with people so they can make decisions about what they're going to do over night time and do not make the same mistake as which I did. But yeah, I would say if you're thinking of coming to Colombia, then definitely come to Colombia. Like I say, I feel really, really safe around Barasunadas, lots of security. The north is a lot better than the south. I wouldn't recommend going around the south. That's where a lot of the criminals hang out. So yeah, that's a no-no. I also feel with what I gather that Bogota is safer than Medellin. Medellin is another city which a lot of tourists visit. But for me, a lot of tourists visit there and that can attract the criminals because of this. That's what I feel. I may be wrong. You could tell me in comments what you think. But I feel that Bogota is generally a safer city than Medellin. Okay, now I've explained my reasons, my personal choice for not uploading for a while. Now I've got that off my chest. I just, like I say, hope you can stay safe if you come to Colombia, which you will if you follow the procedures. I will make a video, like I said earlier, about how to stay safe, and then you can enjoy a pleasant stay in Colombia. Okay, that's all from me. Get ready for more incoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, laters.